Hi, this is Mark Anthony T. Padil, founder and educator of Autism Response PH or ARPH Educational Consulting. The advocacy program is for autism awareness for emergency responders such as EMS, police, and fire. Now, we're going to talk about the uh, approach and response during disaster when a uh, first responder encounters a person with autism during his duty. Okay? So we have here the approach and techniques, autism care. Okay, let me tell you about Dennis Debeau. Okay, he's the founder of Autism Risk and Safety Management. So he authorized me and he's okay with that, that I can use the acronym uh, Autism for the approach and responses or the approach and techniques. Okay, so let's go about the acronym of Autism. A. Approach the person in a quiet and non-threatening manner. So if you have your two-way radios, maybe turn it off or a silent momuna, okay? Then make sure you go to the eye level of the child or, or the individual when you're trying to, let's say, to talk, okay? So make sure eye level. Next, understand that touching a person with autism may cause fight or flight reaction. Okay, so no touch muna. Okay, of course, hindi kanya kilala. Okay, so sila, they are trained also. Uh, yung tipong sinasabi ng mga parents na don't talk to strangers. So, for them, we are strangers, no? For that moment. Okay, so establish muna natin, no? Yung ating uh, uh, presence natin. Next, talk to the person in calm voice. Pause and wait for an answer when giving direction and asking directions. Okay? Or asking questions, sorry. Okay? So, give time to respond. Okay? So, if you ask the child, what is your name or where do you live? Okay? So, make sure you have to wait for the response of that individual. If it may take time, let's say, five seconds. Okay? So, you have to wait. Okay? But make sure... When you ask again, don't change the tone of your voice. Okay? What is your name? What is your name? Okay? Something like that. Wag magbabago. Okay? So, what is your name? What is your name? So, pag nagbago yung tone ng voice mo, okay? That child might not respond to your question, might uh, feel threatened. Okay? So, Stay calm, okay? Next, instruct the person simply and directly, okay? So, if you're going to take a BP and nakasuit siya ng jacket, simply say, uh, remove your jacket. Then, pag na-remove na niya, then the next step, okay? Wag you, okay, remove your jacket because I'm going to take your BP and I'm gonna going to take your uh, temperature, Okay, so that's overwhelming na yun. So, step by step, no? Lalo na, you're using thermal scanner. Okay? Feeling niya, mamaya, ano to? Water gun ba to? Mababasa ba ako? Or tatamaan ba ako? May lalabas ba dyan? Masasaktan na ako? Okay, so, if if that's the case, no? Try mo muna dun sa kasama niya or sa kabadi mo. Okay? Para explain mo, ganito mangyayari, niya, mangyayari dyan. Okay? So, tututok ko lang. I'll press the, the button, then lalabas yung temperature mo. Okay? Ganun lang. Okay? S. Seek to evaluate the situation as it is unfolding. So, check mo muna. Bakit? Ano bang ginagawa nitong batang to dito? Okay? Something strange, di ba? Para ba? Nawawala ba to? Or what? Okay? May kasama ba to? Now, kung may kasama, that's good. No? So, yung kasama niya mas makapagbigyan information about his condition, okay? Or kung bakit siya nandudo sa lugar na yon. Next, maintain a safe distance and be able to retreat if necessary to de-escalate the situation. Okay? So, wag masyadong close. Parang, uh, yung umpisa pala ng acronym na autism. Okay? So, I level. Okay? Understand that touching a person may cause fight or flight reaction. So, distansya pa rin, no? Kumbaga nga, social distancing. Okay? Distansya pa rin. Hindi natin alam, mamaya, bigla ka nalang i-high-five nyan, 
Pero yung feeling, yung dating sa'yo, palo. Pero sa kanila, high five lang yun. Okay, so, at least you have a buffer space na you can step back to or to move away just in case, no? Okay, now, next is um, care. Okay, so, this one is from Tami Kayeya. Uh, she's a firefighter and paramedic, Dallas Fire Rescue Department. So, she said, um, autism is always unique, totally interesting, and sometimes mysterious. Okay? So, ano yung acronym ng CARE? Communicate. Utilize the caregiver. This will be your best source of information. Okay? So, mas maganda may kasama siya. Okay? Mas maganda may kasama siya. At least, mas madali na yung work mo to, to get information. Okay? Advocate. Remember, these individuals are doing the best they can. Okay? So, speak for me. Okay? So, if you feel na, oh, parang siguro na uuhaw siya. Buddy, bigyan mo nga ng tubig. Or, buddy, parang, parang gutom yata siya. Parang he wants to eat, no? Or parang gusto niya candy. Buddy, kuha kang candy doon. Something like that. Okay? Ikaw yung, ikaw mag-advocate. Lalo na kung, kung hindi niya kasama yung caregiver niya. No? Sometimes, ano lang sila. Pwedeng mag yes or no. Do you want food? Do you want to drink? Okay? So, some may respond to your question. Some may not. Okay? So, be patient. No? Be patient. Next. Restrict minimize sensory input. Okay? So, kung marami na kayo dyan, no? Uh, attending to this individual. Okay? Let's say, andyan si team leader. Okay? Tapos, andyan pa yung iba pa yung kabadi. No? So, try to lessen, no? Yung, uh, yung tao sa paligid niya. Okay? So, maybe, ikaw na lang yung uh, kumausap sa kanya. Then, if your team team leader has a question, maybe, i-direct niya muna sa'yo. Then, ikaw na magtanong sa bata. Okay? Hindi yung, eto si team leader, uh, saan ka nakatira? Tapos, eto pa isa pang volunteer. O, oh, uh, ano bang gusto mong kainin? What's your favorite food? So, ang daming inputs. No? daming inputs. So, ikaw na lang yung magiging spokesperson. So, kung ano man yung tanong nila, padaanin muna sa'yo. Then, ikaw na magtanong doon sa bata. Okay? And of course, we have the fire trucks, we have the uh, police mobile and everything, no emergency vehicles. In case naman na, uh, kunyari, naka-open pa yung siren or open pa yung blinker. Yan yung mga iba. For, for some, no? Very, ano, um, overwhelming yun. Yung loud noise and the lights, no? So, minimize lang natin yung mga ganong sensory inputs. Or, if not naman, um naingay pa rin, pwede tayo, pwede natin silang bigyan ng mga earplugs or earmuff, just like this one. Okay? So, pwede na to. Okay? Earmuff. Next, keep your eyes on your patient. Okay? Why? Kasi mamaya, pwedeng umalis na lang yan, bigla. Okay? So, it's your responsibility. No? So, make sure merong uh, adult supervision or active supervision from your team na uh, binabantayan yung uh, person with autism no or attending to the person with autism in uh, let's say in any emergency cases okay kasi mamaya yun nga, they, they have no uh, what do you call this no fear of danger okay uh, isa, isa sa mga ano nila yan hindi sila ano dyan okay so pwedeng bumaba ng rig mo yan, bumaba sa ambulance mo, bumalik sa bahay, or go somewhere else, okay? So, yun lang. Always keep your eyes on your patient. Okay? Then, ano pa ba? Okay. Isa pa. Okay? So, may nababasa na rin ako sa Facebook. Okay? Mga missing individual. Okay? Missing individual. I have a suggestion. Okay? So, po pwede naman yung kunyari, medyo techy ka, okay? You can use uh, uh, GPS device, okay? So, this one, nabili ko sa Lazada, around 600 pesos, okay? Then, ito naman, may nagregalo during uh, Christmas, no? Exchange gift, okay? GPS, um, i-check nyo kung ano yung gagana na SIM card, 
kung pang glow ba siya or pang smart okay so lalagyan na sim card lalagyan mo ng load yon of course this is fully charged lalagyan mo na sa belt bag ng anak mo okay okay tapos baon niya na yan lagyan na sa hip belt okay now paano ba mag work itong GPS okay so you have your smartphone make sure yun nilagay mo sim card dito alam yung number so pag text mo doon magte text back siya automatic ano yung text back coordinates so what will you do with the coordinates click mo lang sa phone mo then lalabas na yung google uh, google map then papakita niya kung saan approximately kung nasaan yung taong yun. Okay? Especially if you have a uh, family member person with autism who is uh, wandering away from home or may mga record na ganyan yung madalas, na, madalas siyang lumabas ang bahay or sa mga senior. Okay? Yung may mga dementia na parang gusto pa nilang mamaling. Okay? okay? Tapos, oh, asa na si Lola? Asa na si Lolo? Okay? Ay eh, lumabas. So, hindi na matrace. Okay? So, pwede to. Okay? So, this is one of your option. Uh, GPS device. Okay? So, siguro every 3 days or 4 day, um, 3, 3 to 5 days monitoring or standby mode. Pag nalobat na yun, siguro charge mo na ulit. Okay? Next one. Um, ID delays. Okay? So, napaka-simple lang yan. Ito, ginawa ito ng uh, Autism Response PH. Okay? So, yan may nakalagay. Medical Alert, PWD. Okay? Uh, need a interpreter or deaf. Okay? Uh, blind. Kasi merong walking stick. And maybe a person with autism. Or, yun nga, um, ano pa ba? Ayan. Person with special needs, okay. So this one is good health. May whistle siya, okay. Medical alert logo, okay. Now you can also write your contact number, okay. Cell phone, name, okay. Pwede niyan. Susuri lang ng bata yan. Or isa pa, or of course, um, ano tayo, kung di ka teki, okay, or di ka pa naka-avail nito, itong uh, lanyard, pwede naman yun sa damit, okay, sa laylayan, isulat nyo doon sa likod, no, isulat nyo doon sa likod, no? for example, yan. Okay, sulatan natin. Okay, so this is my name. Okay, kung kunyari yung tatawaga sa bahay, yun naman yung ilalagay mong number. Okay? So, or if found, ah, malaki naman yung t-shirt eh. Okay? If found, okay, a person with autism, person with disability, okay, lagay nyo dyan. Okay? Tapos, if found, contact number din, address. Napaka-simple. Okay? Napaka-simple. Ganun lang pong gagawin natin. As, uh, let's say, the as a parent or family member, that is our uh, initial preparedness plan. No? If you're living with person with autism and or uh, person who needs an uh, access and functional needs, it's your uh, initial preparedness that's very vital okay so at least bago siya, sila lumabas okay sa mga frontliners okay sa mga barangay tanod kagawad law enforcer EMS police no yan okay at least dun pala sa damit 
Makita na. Kahit sa brief, lagyan nyo. Medyas, lagyan nyo. Pantalon, lagyan nyo. Okay? Magkano ba tong marker? Okay? Magkano ba yan? Mura lang yan. Okay? Kesa yung nawawala si Jun Jun, hanapin mo yung mag-okay niyang picture, updated picture, pa-print ka, tapos, iikuti mo yung barangay, magpapaskil ka doon. Okay? So, ano, of course, logistics-wise, no, tsaka effort, no, grabe. Mahirap yun. Pero kung yung suit niya, syempre, sasabihin niya naman, huli po siya nakita suit ang uh, pink na polo shirt. Okay. Eh, syempre, instinct na iba dyan, titignan niyan. Uy, may nakasulat pala, oh. Oh, Mark. Oh, may contact number dito. He found call okay, hirin na po kasimple okay so with this COVID-19 uh, malalagpasan natin to and abangan nyo po sa Pinoy Prepper Bazaar and Tax Expo okay, so magbibigay po tayo ng talk po doon about uh, autism awareness for emergency responders Once again, this is Mark Anthony Tipadil. Maraming salamat po sa inyong oras.